This is going to be a hopefully short, off-the-cuff video. Uh, what I'm doing is just trying to get some confidence in the total harmonic distortion measurements using the Analog Discovery 2 that you see there. For that purpose, I'm using a little Ramsey amplifier that I built in a previous video. This is the one that's been modified for wider frequency response. Uh, I'm using uh, 15 ohm resistors as the load on the uh, amplifier just to have something to develop the output power against. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to first measure the distortion of this unit using my Keithley 2015 THD, which you see over here. Now, I know that this Keithley is uh, well calibrated. It was calibrated less than a year ago. I have also checked it against my HP distortion analyzer, and it agrees very well with that, at least over its range, which is up to about 20 kilohertz. So uh, I'll be making these measurements at 1 kilohertz. I'm just going to be doing one set of measurements, because mainly what I want to find out is whether the spectrum analyzer, which you see there on the waveform software, will do a pretty accurate job of measuring total harmonic distortion. And if you haven't seen this before, you turn on uh, total harmonic distortion by using the view uh, control there. And then in the view control, you click on measurements and a window will open. That's the window you see here labeled measurements. Then you click on that little plus symbol uh, to add a measurement. And in this case, I'm using channel 2, and it's a dynamic measurement of total harmonic distortion. So that's what you see there that I've added. Now let's go over and see what we get on the Keithley. Here is the distortion I'm getting on the Keithley. You'll notice it's reg registering around negative 55 dB. Now let me turn up the volume until we get significant distortion. And you see it goes to about minus 30 dB. So I'm going to leave it set in that minus 30 position, and then I'm going to go over and use the analog discovery to make the same measurement. And now I've hooked up the analog discovery to the same amplifier and turned on the THD measurement without changing the volume control. And you see it's getting about 30.2 call it 30.25 dBc, that is dB relative to the carrier. So, at least at this frequency and this, these settings, the uh, Keithley and the analog discovery uh, agree within a reasonable tolerance. So, uh, what I'm going to do is perhaps do some additional measurements and see if I come up with any different values, but uh, I think what I might do at this point is go ahead and end this video and keep it short so that people that are interested in whether they can rely on the THD measurements in the uh, analog discovery waveform software will see that at least at a kilohertz with, uh, with this amplifier we're getting about minus 40 dBc. But before I end it, let me turn the volume down now until the harmonics disappear in the waveform and uh, take a look at what the THD is then. And you see now we're down to the basic situation with the uh, amplifier. It does produce uh, a little bit of additional distortion. Let's see what the frequency is there. That's 2 kilohertz, so that's second harmonic distortion. So let's look over at what the the THD reads, and about minus 56 dBc, which is very consistent with what I read on the Keithley. Uh, at this uh, at this point, remember that it's uh, fairly subject to noise, and one reason that I'm using an exponential average over here of uh, 10 is to get rid of some of that uh, additional noise. In the Keithley I was not using the filter, uh, 
and so it was probably picking up a little bit more noise than the uh, than the analog discovery is computing. But at any rate, I hope this will give you some confidence in the THD measurements in the analog discovery using the waveform software, and I'm going to continue working on trying to find a way to plot these results using uh, the network analyzer, but I think at this time I'm probably going to have to wait until the next release of waveforms when the uh, Digilent has promised to include access to the uh, Spectrum Analyzer in the script editor. So if you haven't seen any of those earlier videos you, and are interested in that, you might go back. But hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for some future videos. And in the meantime, have a nice day.